of Australia's one day series against Pakistan live from Allen Borderfield in Brisbane. Our Aussie women returning to the international stage for the first time in more than five months. To... Well, that's Sky. The shout is catch it. Racing back on and it's taken. First wicket of the series goes to Darcy Brown. Very handy by Sutherland as well. Crisply driven, nicely indeed. There's space on the offside with the jam-packed slips caught in and even Perry can't track that one down. Leading edge has come back and it is, it's in hands. Gets up a little bit gingerly to Darcy Brown but does well to pick up Australia's second. The weather has just turned a little bit heavier here at Allen Borderfield. Well, great news, we've got a 40 over game now after the rain delay, the covers have been taken off. Well struck and off the mark in style. Goes after it again and finds the gap the other side of backward point for four more. In the air and Tali McGrath has a wicket in her first over. Interesting shot. That's the confidence of Nita Dar. Good looking shot, finds the gap. Sensational stuff from Nita Dar. Flick off the stumps from McGrath. Turns it leg side here off Perry. And work for the boundary rider. It's back to back boundaries, finding the gap. Could be dangerous. Oh, Beth Mooney down leg side. Big shout, what a take. Brilliant catch. And Ash Gardner has a breakthrough in her second over. As our understudy delivered with that catch. And in the game again here. Bales off in a flash. And they'll send this one upstairs as well. Nita Dar is a little uh, anxious. Clearly down before the bars are broken. Chance and Beth Mooney is in the action once again. This time it's King bowling the delivery. Some sharp work behind the stumps. Oh, yes. Yes, Meg, yes, Meg, yes, Meg. Oh, here's the indecision. It has been brewing all day. Both batters at the same end. It's a horror show. And they're going to lose Nita Dar, the set batter, on 37. Sent back, but she refused to turn back. Or, or hang on a minute. Does she go past her here? And there's the bad news for Kainat Imtiaz. She has to go. Plenty of movement going on and uh, bamboozled herself. I think they're, are they just checking? Where she's taken. Yeah. yeah you can't have your gloves in front oh, of the stumps. Thought, there we go. Straight up from Fatima Sana and Jonathan gets another one. Meg Lanning with a catch on her return. And the celebration for the Aussie skipper. It is so great to see a smile back on her face. That's well struck by the keeper batter. And clean bowling, Phoebe Litchfield, who will reflect on that for a little while. Well struck by Nita Dar and finds the boundary. It's a 50 for the veteran. And hit that beautifully. Lady Boom Boom hits the first six of the day. Nice swing and clears mid off. And she can find the boundary too. Cries of catch it and it's safely taken by Talia McGrath. That ends the innings of Nita Dar. Sensational knock. The Australia's never been beaten by Pakistan that 160 just probably isn't enough. Ah! Oh, chopped on an early wicket for Pakistan. It's huge. It's Mooney. Wait, wait, wait. Quickly onto the back foot and that is the Meg Lanning that we're used to seeing. She's back and she's playing beautifully early doors. Full toss that uh, evades Diana Baig. So nice timing mixed in with some poor fielding. Yeah. Oh, the leading edge, and we've seen Darcy Brown take a court and bold earlier today. Threw and off the ground. Gets it through. Didn't try and overhit it, which was the important part there from Phoebe Litchfield. And she chalks up a second four for Australia. That's in the air, and it's been put down. The field was set by the captain. And Maniba Ali, at backward of point, was put in the hot spot. Yep. Followed up by the trademark shot.
And poor Ford fielding once again. Well struck, pull shot. Crowd enjoyed that. Phoebe Litchfield to the boundary rope in a hurry. Beats that fielder that she brought up inside the circle and gets the boundary payoff now, Meg Lanning. Gets there on the full and beats mid-off. And that's where it's headed. And the test was on, batted into the rope in the end. As Meg Lanning goes aerial, the first real sign of aggression. As Phoebe Litchfield decides to go aerial like Meg Lanning did just a couple of balls ago. Well, Skip, anything you can do, <laughs> I'm going to try and do better. Waiting, it's through. And with that, Phoebe Litchfield will go to a 50 on debut. It's gone fine and fine enough through the gap region backward of square to pick up another boundary and it brings Meg Lanning to 50 in her return. Uh, we've seen it from Meg Lanning straight down the ground, Phoebe Litchfield. The batting with Phoebe Litchfield on debut. Did you get a chance to go out for coffee, chat about opening? Oh. And if uh, Meg Lanning keeps striking the ball like that, Elise Perry's going to get more and more relaxed on the sidelines. Oh, and she chases one that's almost off the pitch here. And a run out opportunity, and the dive comes out from Meg Lanning. This will be very interesting. It wasn't. Oh, Sidra Nawaz likes it. Oh, so too does Claire Polisak. So almost, almost run out the delivery before. And then the very next delivery, Meg Lanning. Phoebe Litchfield. That is nice, really nice. From the field, but elevate the ball just like that. He's found more space this time to the onside. That won't be tracked down. It's back to back boundaries. Delivery. And looks to go not just over the field, but yep, over it. Don't worry about fours. Let's just go in sixes now, says Phoebe Litchfield. That is a debut to remember. A half century, she moves to 78, not out. She hits the winning runs. Mum, Grandma are in the crowd. And at just 19 years of age, in her first walk out to the middle in the green and gold, she has seen Australia over the line in the first one day international against Pakistan.